Hey, hey, y'all. It's Michelle from Monkey's Creations. Come on in. Try to open y'all up. Gotcha. Hello, hello, y'all. What's up? So I've been trying to prep for this um, all day, but I had to get the kits together for the VIP group. Um, so I finally got those done and packed and ready to ship tomorrow. Um, so I was like, let me see how quickly I can get this done. And maybe we could even do it tonight. So it worked. Um, so I am using this gorgeous... I saved your boredness. Yay! This gorgeous foam that I got from Claudia's Decor. Is that not gorgeous? Love it. Hello, hello. Um... And then I just grabbed a Senna. Um, now, this sign is from Unique in the Creek as well. Um, oh, you can see my ring lights. Let's see if I can. There we go. But you could use any kind of sign, um, any kind of flower Senna. I have tons of Sennas on my website um, that you could use. This just happened to be the closest. Um, so that's what I'm going to use. Um, so I did just put my cable mount on there um, so I'm gonna set it aside and hope it is is good to go when we get to that point now I did already start because I wanted to make sure that it was gonna work um, and it is look at that oh my gosh um, so let me tell you um, how I did this okay um, so these sheets came from Claudia's Decor. Let me raise, I don't know why I'm down so far. Let me raise you up a little bit. Um, came from Claudia's Decor. Um, so I made sure the last time I ordered that I got the red, white, and blue because I knew I was going to want to do something patriotic with that. Okay. Um, so write this down. You're going to need, if you want to do it, you're going to need three pieces of white. I kept these that I cut off so I'd know how many sheets y'all needed. So three pieces of white. One, two, three, four pieces of red. And one, two, three pieces of the blue. Okay. Now, I will bring you down to the board so that I can show you how I cut these. Just put that right there. Yeah, these sheets are big, so you don't need very many um, to do this. So, let me bring you down so I can show you how I cut it. So these, these sheets are 22 by 17, okay? So all I did was I lined it up and I took the, my easy bow was sitting right here and it was long enough. So I cut it at the 10 inch mark. Cut it at the 20 inch. So we have our 10 by 10. 
and then I cut it at the 10 inches, which gave us the square. Okay. And then I took that square, lined it up, and then cut it right down the middle, just like we do the Rita petal, okay? So that's essentially what we're doing with the foam is the Rita petal. Now because the foam is so thick, I could not prep these because even my metal clips would not hold it. So we're gonna make these as we go. So if you don't wanna sit here and watch me make all of these petals, then watch the replay. <laughs> Don't get mad at me, all right? So, you are gonna need, this is, and I tell, I urge y'all to get these templates when you first, well, welcome, Steve. Um, when you purchase your boards from Unique in the Creek, um, you can download the template. So, I always, especially on the ones that I do every year, I actually, write out my template so I know exactly how many I need, where they go, so that I don't forget, okay? So, I know that we need 12 blue, 13 red, and 11 white. But, because we're cutting these petals in half, I really only needed six blue can y'all, let me, let me zoom y'all down a little bit so you can see that, so you can see the template. So, I only needed six blue, I'll need seven red, because I need 13 pieces, um, and then I'll need 12, because I need to cut that in half, okay? So, this is the template, if you wanna screenshot it real quick. So that you always have it. You could watch me all the time. Okay, so I'll give it just a second so y'all can screenshot that. And then we'll get started. Okay. So, oh, let me get y'all back out. That way you can see what I'm doing. This is the large flower board. Um, somebody just asked. I don't remember who it was, but this is the large flower board. All right, so we're going to start on row two. I put nothing on row three or on row one. You just took the screenshot. Awesome. So I'm going to get all of my colors out here. And we're going to finish with the blue. So remember, these were squares that I cut in half. So we're going to take it. Now, because we want the glitter side up, turn it upside down. Okay, we're going to take this piece and bring it to this side. Now remember, with this petal, you don't have to worry about what this edge looks like because you're not going to see it. What you need to be concerned about is this point right here. Okay? That's the point you want to line up, not this point, not this edge. Okay? Now this is a lot of foam, y'all. So the easiest way is to grab it in the middle. Bring it up again, one more time, and then do the same thing to this edge. Now this will give you a hand workout, y'all. And then bring it up, just like that. And stick it right in your zip tie. Pull it tight. 
just like that. Okay, so we have one more blue. I do mark my board so I know exactly where I'm going. This foam came from Claudia's Decor. Now see why my clips wouldn't hold that? So, we are just going to sit here and make every petal. <laughs> and get that hand work out. But it'll go by pretty quickly. I promise. I won't chit-chat a lot. I'll just work. Okay. Now, I always put the red underneath. I think. It really does not matter. I do not believe. Hold on. Because I think I ended up switching it around. Give me just a second. Yeah, I did. White goes down here, not the red. And it, I mean, honestly, you can do it however you want. But this is white. Oh, I like to chit-chat, too. And the good thing is I can chit-chat and keep working. <laughs> so we're going to go with the white. Hello, hello. Yes, these were 10 by 10. This is the Rita Petal. Just using foam instead of mesh. Hello. But definitely with this foam, you do not have to worry about anything being see-through. Because you ain't seeing nothing through this foam. Okay, now we're just going to alternate red and white. I know I love that blue too. I love all of this glitter foam, y'all. Yep, you could definitely use felt. You can use whatever you want. I just knew that I wanted to use this foam because that glitter, y'all. But I'm telling you, if you have bad hands, don't use foam. <laughs> Even I'll fill this one tomorrow. Yes, foam will hold up outside. I mean, obviously, if it's in direct weather, it's not going to hold up as well. Just like anything else, but... y'all been doing all day? 
Can you please show the pattern again? You like the text? There you go. Yeah, you, you really can't depend on Facebook for notifications anymore, so text is a, a good way to let all of y'all know. So if you want to get the text notifications when I go live, just text me at 281-502-2228. Yes, they are going to hurt tomorrow. <laughs> Do you put white stars on the blue? Um, it really just depends on which Senna I use. If I'm just using like my rope Sennas or something, I may... But because I'm using this gorgeous eagle, um, I'd like for him to be front and center. Um, so I will not put um, stars on the foam. Yeah, if you have rheumatoid, don't do this one. Or get somebody to do this part for you. <laughs> How about that? Three to four inches. Holy man. Look, Deanna, you hired. Now, if all y'all would float my boat, I'd appreciate it. Yeah, you can get that sign from Unique in the Creek. I do have the red, white, and blue rope coming for the Patriotic Sennas, so I will get those going as soon as it gets here. Hello. Uh oh. All right. We'll just do this because I am not about to fold that again. Thanks for floating my boat. I really didn't think using the foam was going to be this tough on the hands. Usually the other things I do with the foam is not, but because this is basically doubled, it is a little bit harder, but it'll be so worth it. There we go. We're back on track. There you go, Dan. I'll do it. <laughs> And she has some amazing colors, y'all. I mean, the purples and the pinks and, oh my goodness, they're all gorgeous. Anything with glitter is gold, right? Depends on how fast you want them. <laughs> Second Tuesday of next week. Now, my question would be, how much you going to pay me to do it? <laughs> Deanna, you might be able to make some money. Right, Sharon? <laughs> I 
I just look at my dog sometimes and laugh. She got a whole bunch. Uh-oh. I didn't see what that said. All I saw is she got a whole bunch of... Right, Deanna? No, Lizzie. I haven't seen Waterman's glitter. He gets it from Claudia. I know he I know he did have some. Um but it comes from the same place. It comes from Claudia. All right, that row is done. That row takes the longest. And this way, it's not going to even fray, y'all. You don't have to worry about none of that. This is foam, Stacy. He's got 44 different colors of the glitter foam or the glitter. I saw he had glitter. Uh, Mandy, she does not have a, a website. Um, she only has, you have to private message her. So if you go to her page, Claudia's Decor, um, and then private message her. But you can't handle the sound of it. Now, I'm that way with cotton. If you know me, you know, like, I am, like, deathly, don't show me cotton, don't bring me cotton, because, y'all, I can, it, it, I can hear it, and I can't, ooh, it's just giving me goosebumps thinking about it. Stacy, it came from Claudia's Decor. to the white. I use Fiskars. Um, scissors and um, generally um, the rotary cutter. Now I don't know if they're the, the best, but that's what I use and I've never had a problem with them. And um, Dawn, they were originally ten by ten and that I cut them in half. Oh, did y'all see Angie from Brushes and Boards got the subscription? Woohoo! I did sign up, but I think I signed up wrong. <laughs> I don't think I signed up for the monthly. I think I just signed up for the one time. So I'll have to fix that next month. But you can get your monthly um, door hanger and ribbon sign or and uh, wreath sign. So I'm so excited. All right, I'll go over it one more time. So the foam is from Claudia's Decor. Um, you're going to need three sheets of the blue, four sheets of the red. And one, two, three sheets of the white, but that might change because I alternated the colors. So we'll have to see. Yeah, it's it's um stencilitup.com, I believe, y'all. Y'all go check it out. So I'll be painting with y'all once a month. 
because I got the bug. watching Amy Rose. What's she up to? I haven't seen her in forever. You have three coming? I think I've got three coming too. That's how my hands are starting to hurt. No, I'm not skipping holes in this row. Um, as you can see, if you want to add more um, petals, you can and just use the shared holes. But I am just using the original holes that are in there. Did that make sense? All right, one more white. She was showing a braid. Oh, awesome. You'll have to wear your phone. <laughs> you almost have your craft table together. Yay! Now, if I was using like a thinner mesh that you could, you know, see through, I might have to do um, the shared holes. But with this glitter foam. There's no need to. From cutting the ribbon on. Oh no, Nancy. Poor thing. All right. So I need a, one more blue. Now, depending on what center you're using, you may be able to stop at this row, but I'll find out in just a second once we get this row done. Getting out the, I'm gonna put the unwired ribbon. Oh, I think I was, getting in on conversation. I'll butt out. <laughs> this foam is from Claudia's Decor. You make me spend money. <laughs> Isn't this gorgeous though?
I like making other people spend money now. Heck no, I ain't doing no kit. Girl. I think I should have just stayed with the red. Because I don't think I'm going to have enough white cut. Red, white, red. Well, we may. I may have just enough. The only thing that's helping me right now are these nails. <laughs> Send you my purchase order. <laughs> funny. <coughs> you funny. No, there's hardly any glitter coming off. Very little. It's not like some of the glitter ribbon that can come off very easily. This does not. Online college. Awesome. have blisters but they're definitely starting to cramp Let's cut these off and see what it looks like. Okay, so right there is where we're at. I always put the blue right up here which will be your upper left um, because that's where it goes on the flag. Um, and then, let's see. Now, it does work, but I can see these zip ties right here, and that will drive me insane. So, I am going to do these last four, and I kind of thought I might, um, but I wasn't sure. Because typically when I do the Rita petal, I do two petals per zip tie. But with the foam, there's really no need to. Um, all right, Deanna. Um, there's no need to. But you are going to have to... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me think, let me think, let me think. If I put this here... that up. 
I'm just going to have to see what it covers. So let me just... I'm just going to have to see here. Alright, so the blue goes here. See, that's what I was afraid of. So if I put the blue here, I can still see that zip tie, and I don't think when I put the petal here that it's gonna cover it. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna have to fold that one again. So I'm gonna play, and I'm gonna see if we can do these instead of these or if I have to do all of them I'm, I don't want to really do a shared hole because that's going to be a lot of foam in the center looks like. Well, I think it looks like we're going to have a lot of foam in the center because no matter how I do it, you're going to see a zip tie. So, I need a blue here, a blue here. I really didn't want to do that, but we're going to have to. But if you have a bigger sign, um, you may not have to do this. I'll measure it in just a second. I was trying to, to figure this out. to make it easier for y'all so you know exactly what you need to do. See, that's a whole lot of foam, y'all. Oi. So I need to cut one more blue and shoot, I don't have it because I only had three sheets of the blue. So let's just go, let's just do the white, oy, 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 oy. Aren't you glad I wing it? <laughs> Let's just keep going the way I'm going. So you'll actually get to see how I cut this. So line it up. Bring it to the 10 inch. Cut 
it, bring it to the 20 inch. Ooh, I'm having a hot blush. Okay. That's right. I'll wing it for you. <laughs> All right. And then I'm just going to put one on top of the other and cut our 10 inch. And then take it, put it in a diamond, line it up. And then cut it right down the middle. Now this part does not need to be exact because you're not going to see this cut. Alright, and I've got plenty of the red. So we are good. So let's keep going. Actually, let's just wait for that. So let's get a white. Another snowstorm. Have fun with that. <laughs> so at this point, it, I probably should have left these open because I really don't want to fight all this. So let me cut these off. Otherwise, I'll be cussing in a minute. And I can't cuss on Facebook. I probably could, but I'd get booted real quick. <laughs> so I'm just going to load these as we put them in and leave them open. Five inches. Holy man. Do y'all know what I mean by doing the shared holes? I'll flip it over and I'll show y'all. So these are the regular sets of holes. And so the ones in between are the shared holes. So those are the ones I am going in. Freezing rain this morning. I saw um, 
a big pile up somewhere. I don't remember where it was. My mom tagged me in the post. They got snow in Tennessee. And she's like, you should be here. And I'm like, no, I shouldn't. I am fine right here. Holy man, are we done yet? My forearms are going to hurt too now. Yeah, you probably could cut them in half again and make them smaller, but I, 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 should, I don't know. I just like to be consistent. Y'all know I'm a little OCD, but yeah, you could definitely make your petals smaller. Just cut it in half again and do a smaller version of it. Can you sweat? Lord, I'm sweating. Oh. I'm even groaning. <laughs> oh my God, did y'all hear that? Oh my God. I'm going to bed after this. Tracy, does the foam need to be ironed? I didn't iron no foam. Lord, I don't know how we're going to get that last piece in there, y'all. The bling center? Absolutely. All right, last one, y'all. Let's see if I can take my glasses off. If this was mesh, it already frayed and look at that side. Okay, we 
look at that side. All right. Last one, y'all. Last one. <laughs> this is a one and done. Oh my gosh. Get this in that little bitty section but we're gonna try y'all i'm groaning <laughs> Yes. Oh my gosh. Okay. Holy man. But look, it gives you that doing it this way gives you that kind of a uh, What's your majigger? The like the pinwheel kind of. Holy man, I'm done. I'm out. <laughs> you're totally exhausted. Oh my god, you're fired. <laughs> All right. So let's find. A pinwheel, yes. Um, so here is what the back looks like. Okay. So every one on row two, three, four, and then five, we did every set and the shared. Okay. So I'll update you on how many. So that's one, two, three, four white. You're still going to need one, two, three, four red and one, two, three blue. But I actually could have put a blue right here. So if you want to get four, four, and four, you're probably better off. Okay. So this sign is, I think I told you I was going to give you the size. It is an 8 inch round from Unique in the Creek. And I think I do have some kits actually coming out with this one. With this vinyl actually. All right. So just take it. These boards have the two Senna holes. That is for whatever Senna you're going to use. Now, I did just put this cable mount on, so I am not going to pull it hard because I don't want it to pop off. And this is probably actually not the best sign to use with this vibrant 
um, color so I may play around with a couple centers so something like one of those would probably go better than this sign um, but it'll work for now until I figure out something else So there you go. I actually really like it. You can really see that glitter. The bling rope centers, I I don't have any bling rope that truly matches these. I do have the twisted rope um, that would be gorgeous. Um, I have the white and I have the red twisted rope that would good go good, but none of the bling ropes, I, I don't think any of the bling rope that I have would work um, unless you wanted to do like a silver or a gold. Um, that would probably be the only two glitter sunas that I have that would work. Um, but it's really up to you. Yes, this will fit between two doors. It is only like an inch and a half wide. So it's not very thick at all. And the gold would actually work. Let me see. Give me a second. I know where a gold is. I was making kits for the VIPs with the gold. Yeah, a pure white would work. Even a silver, the silver rhinestone that I have would be gorgeous. So that's the gold. And even the silver disc would actually be very pretty. whole lot of bling yeah that's like I said this sign really I wouldn't use on this vibrant of a red white and blue but it was just the first sign that I saw to give you all an idea but that would work as well either that one or the gold and the metals yes for sure. Um, but I'm getting ready to load the gold back on the website. Um, and the silver discs are already on there. Um, if y'all need those, they're at monkeyscreations.com. And the glitter is from Claudia's Decor. So, get the blue in the right spot. There you go. All right, that's all I got. I'm done for the day. Put a fork in me. I'm out of here. Y'all have a good day. I'm going to go soak my hands for a minute, and um, I may see y'all tomorrow. All right, have a good night. Bye, y'all.